It's your boy Mikey, but we talking media in the flesh, and we getting deep. We getting deep and dirty. Yeah, the conversation on the rapper, excuse me, the 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 R and B extraordinaire YK Osiris. Yeah, supposed to be the next R and B star, Mr. Light Skin. They call him. You know, I figured out he was light skinned by a video. We're gonna go through a couple videos, but I want to start it off here. You see, a lot of us, a lot of us men, I call it a streak. And any guy, any guy that's that's been out there a little bit, that's that's tried. I'm not saying you have to be pretty. I say if you try, you hit streaks. And what is what is a streak? You're like, hey, what what the hell is this guy talking about? Well, very low key. Well, the fact of the matter is, a streak is when uh, no offense. Uh, Girls are looking at you, starting to get a lot of dates, and you and, and, and you're winning out there. Okay, you winning. Can you see me win? Yes, sir. And you know, guys in the music industry, athletes, etc. We've seen it for the past couple of weeks. It's been pretty nuts. The relationship activities that have been happening. You know, we got Zion Williamson. You know, he's he. No offense. Okay. By the way, Zion's a big guy, six six eight six nine. I mean, actually, actually six seven six eight range. I give him. I know with shoes, and the fact of the matter is, with that much height and that much stardom, it's a it's a it's a head scratcher to why he was doing what he was doing with those ladies. Okay, giving them allowances and all that. Now some guys. Have a tricking motif. If, if let me let me explain that a little quick. It'll be one or two couple sentences. Some guys have a passion for paying women for pleasure. It's an addiction. Okay. Lo and behold, a lot of guys don't understand that. Okay. I, I know a couple guys like that. They're they're rich. They're well off. By the way, no homo. They're good looking guys. And uh, you know what? They have no problem paying because there's something about tricking for them. They like it. They like tricking for the girls, even though they can get them for less cost. Okay? Because I'm, I'm not going to tell any guy. Very low key. I'm, I'm not going to tell any guy that his time ain't worth shit. And that pursuing a woman doesn't take away money from you. Because that, that's not free. That I have to agree with. All relationships are time and cost because the time you're taking talking to that person on the phone, texting, you know, going through that relationship angle and all that stuff and figuring out what's what. That's that's effort and that's and that's money. Now, let's get back into, you know, Zion and we're going to get to hit a couple athletes, right? The confidence spectrum. When you're a star, you know, I'm just a regular dude. I'm talking about, I don't, you know, you know, I'll, I'll talk in third person. I know some regular dudes that, that they get it in when they go out, you know, they got the, they got the, the they got the dress code and they got the look and, and, you know, you know, and they're able to get in there and, and, you know, they're able to knock something out. I'm not saying sexually, they're able to get a number, you know, get a date or something, right? Because they just got it. it, it it's constant. Now imagine that on times 1000 when you got money and stardom and status which is one of the same and then and, and then you add on to it um status includes the want from other men and women to be near you because you're popular okay most people most people like that okay I'm, i happen to be a low-key most let me tell you something most people on youtube are a little bit introverted okay just to be heads up Lo and behold, a lot of people think they're, they're extroverted. Most people doing these YouTube videos like this are a little bit introverted, meaning meaning we don't really like to deal with people too much. <laughs> okay, we appear to you know it's just that you know we like we, this is a nice feel. You're behind the scenes, behind the camera, so you know you you you, you get a little bit more. I don't want to say confident, but it's kind of in your measure. And of course, there's some money involved, right? You can potentially get some money from YouTube. I'm the only guy that's gonna say say it straight up. Yeah, the, the reason why most of us, I'm here definitely, and most people here are to, to get some guapo. Okay, that's that's it. There's big money in YouTube. Um, now, now let me step back with 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 this situation with the men. So you got the regular Joe that goes on. He's on his streak, right? There's ups and downs in, in, in men getting girls. He's on his streak. He's winning. You know, once you start winning, you know it. I don't know what it is. It's magnetism. Once one girl likes you, you start to see all the other girls start to like you. It's almost, I don't know what it is. You know, magnetism, you know, some type of electric connection 
there, there's some type of connection that starts to gather, and it may be in your head, but it's gathering all these females saying, "Man, it's it's my Very it's lucky. my time, man. Right? I'm in I'm in I'm in I'm in something fancy or." You know, whatever whatever makes you, you know, I just bought my 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 new pair of uh, ball mains, and and you know my haircut is perfect. The barber didn't mess it up. Uh, you know my glasses is right. You know the urus outside for all you hood guys, because <laughs> I'm an Aston Martin guy. Anyway, that's kind of where these where these artists are. Um, but status can then turn around and kill itself if one thing or person changes the motif okay and yk osiris just got a situation with a girl named sakina okay she's a rapper and i'm gonna show a little bit of her after first we look at the good part when they're trying to be sensible and they look all clean and all that but you know we're, we're gonna do the sensible part but then we're gonna get into the you know where, where, where she's showing herself out in, in the argument and 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 now where I was going with this is once one person, if you get, let's say you get knocked out in public or one, uh, or a girl rejects you in public, those are things that are, are, are conjoined with what I call appearance and respect in the field. Hence why I do agree with guys, you know, when you take rejection, try to take it when no one's around. Only I would say this. Try to take rejection when no one's around because if other girls see you get rejected, there is a hive mindset. It's kind of like if one guy knock you out and another guy knock you out. Guess what? A lot of guys gonna think they can knock you out. If you get robbed once, twice, three times, guess what? The robbers say he's an easy target. Girls, it's in the same motif. If you get rejected once or twice, or somebody doesn't find you attractive and starts to bring you down. Very you you are you are in a lot of trouble, and YK Osiris after this incident. So what was the incident? He got. Mm, I wonder. I wonder if it's in this in this in this shorts chain, but let's watch this. He got accused of sexual harassment in public at a basketball event, and I did think he was went a little too far. He really put himself out there for no reason, and he's the star of the show. Like why why the hell would you do that, right? Um, I don't think it was a, that big of a deal. However, all I'm saying on his part, it's kind of like Zion. I'm still scratching my head. Very I'm an NBA player, and I'm giving a girl 107K allowance a month. I mean, honestly, I'm going to be straightforward with you. She should be giving me $107,000 a month for being around me. I'm the status. I'm the star. She should be giving me money. I'm bringing her up. She's not bringing me up. Right. There's a lot of perks with being with an NBA player, your surroundings, the people you get to, you know, get to tangle with. A lot of opportunity there. He's paying her, though. You know, and that's and that's a new world now. Right. It's, it's, it's really it's a really straightforward pay for play now. There's there's, there's no doubt about it. Let's go forward and look at this real quick. Let's let's finish off YK or Saris. We're going to go to Zion and then we're going to get to the last guys, Conor McGregor on this video. When confidence actually takes you too far and you think the world is your freaking oyster, it only takes one person to really get you in a lot of trouble to have you in a different light. And now here, here goes here goes the here goes the ultimate you lose again for this for the situation. Very low key. With woman, especially if it's a high, high end male, I think Conor McGregor's a high end male, in my opinion. I like to do. You can get in even more trouble because if the high end guy is starting to get rejection, starting to get caught up in situations, they will then fervor that to the rest of males as a whole. As a whole. Now, these are some high end guys getting caught in this situation. Very low. These are not low key guys. Be careful, men out there, because. These guys of all races, I see I just went through a couple, are in the limelight and getting rejected. What does that do for average Joe? Sir, it can change the motif in the normal, in the normal events of surroundings that you're used to at a bar because of the hive mindset. Yes, we've gone that far. I, I gave you the ending in the beginning, but hey, might as well. Let's listen to it. 
Oh, here it goes. Look, 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 look. So the, the guy there, man, his name. Look, look. I mean, nice guy, sixty-eight twenty-seven. Thanks for the clip, brother. But do, do you see what's going on? Do you see what's going on? I mean, why would you do that? Now she pushed away. She pushed up. Now, if you see her videos. Why didn't you give YK Osiris a chance? That's the same girl, guys. See her? Ta by the way, I mean, listen, man. I I I'm older. I'm not really with, you know. For me, and I'll be straight up, man. As hood as I want to get is Vivica A. Fox. Thank you, 50 Cent. I mean, Vivica Fox is a nice looking woman. Cleaner. You know, I I'm used to those type of women. I I'm from the Vanessa Williams era. I mean, I mean, black woman in these fucking tattoos and in the in the in the in the eagle, uh, eagle wings. Uh, sometimes, you know, on on the eyelashes. Again, everyone has their style. I'm not part of that culture anymore. Um, but you know, tattoo on the chest is pretty tough for me. But again, I'm not in the industry, so I'm uh, again, I'll shut the hell up. But Why didn't you give YK Osiris a chance, girl? <laughs> There's a lot of people that wanted to talk to me that. Came to me on the on the low, See? like I'm really low key, like on the low. See? I don't like all of that. Okay, like I'm very low key, like. Right. But I like YouTube because it's getting me like a little. Out oh, so there. you didn't like See? that he public? Yeah, I didn't like because it's like, are you looking for clout? Okay. You dropping something? Okay. Like, what are you on? Like, I don't like that. Like, so if he hadn't publicized him, is he at the time? He's too light skin for me. I'm sorry. Oh. It went in something there. I'm not going to go there. She went racial. And, and let me tell you something. Black women hate when you go racial. But from from when I was younger, the dark-skinned woman hated the light-skinned woman. I don't, I don't know what it was. There was always a battle between dark and light. But, you know, again, it, there is a double standard, guys, and, and, and females. I don't know. It's huge. There's certain things women do and certain things men do. They get a pass on the woman's side, and the man gets vilified. The reverse is true. Sometimes men don't get vilified, but a girl gets vilified. We we gotta stop the double standard. She shouldn't said she shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not a color. <laughs> you, she can be that in her head. Like I said, a white person can be racist in their head. Okay, and there's a, there's a couple of actions they can do to turn let's say turn us off. That's there's no problem with that. The issue becomes when you outwardly do it and you cause harm to another person because of what you have in your head. And public slander is part of harm. Let's keep going. I just like, it's like, it's something about like, like, you know who you date. Yeah, I so just you like the chocolate. Not, I mean, not even skin wise. Okay. He acts. Too, like, <laughs> for me. Wow. I love you, YK, man. You know, man. You're my friend. Wow. 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 That was the hit. That was the hit, YK. That may have brought you down. That was the hit that may have brought you down. And guys, the background noise, you may hear like, a, eh, I got a little back massaging, man. I'm just... <laughs> I had to, bro. I mean, we talking media, man. Listen, look what time it is, man. Oh, man, the thing feels so good on my back. Ooh, my neck, my back. Anyway, Why don't you give YKO This is the issue. Public rejection from a female. I think that's the same chick. She looked the same. That's Sakina or something. She looked YK like she, Osiris has a well, they look Why so similar. Why don't you give YKO yeah, Osiris a chance? So she Girl. was interviewing and took that hit. So now, so now, therefore, check me out. YK Osiris is now a notch down on the count. He's been disrespected in public by a public figure for whatever that community is. I don't know who this girl is. Again, I'm not watching these, 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 these type of artists. She gets put down. She puts him down. And now, guess what? Sakina's there. And in this situation, where's the video? Hey, R&B dude, did you not watch that interview with whatever, Regina Carter? You got played, man. You got called a light skin, and you act like light skin. 
You heard me? And you act like light skin. See that smile on his face? He doesn't realize his status. He was on a streak because he's a big R&B star. So he thought nothing could bring him down. Let's keep going, baby. Let's go on to Zion. Let's go on to Zion Williams. The player player. All right. What what a journey. This deserves its own video. Okay. This deserves its own video. Okay. The week that this boy has had. I mean, it, it was miserable. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm, I, I got to watch that. Corey Holcomb is hilarious. Corey, I'm going to come check you in a minute. I'm actually going to end this quick because of your <laughs> Corey Holcomb is a fool. And, uh, he gonna, and, he, and he's part of the trick community. Once you get over a certain age, I mentioned tricking. Some guys love to trick out. There's a timing thing, too, guys. You know? There's a timing thing. There's a timing thing to, um, to you know, how, how far you'll go at certain ages. And I would say once you start to get over 35, 36, and you've experienced kicking game and all that stuff, your mind does start to change, woman, and, and you're so focused on business and, and building a family and network or a business for yourself and your, and your own legacy and your mind, right? that you don't have the time to necessarily squawk on the phone, chit and chat and, and you know, maneuver to, to, to try to get a girl's attention, you know, to try to, to try to make her feel happy and make yourself happy. You know, sometimes you get, sometimes, sometimes it's natural, right? Let's be honest, guys. There's some, some girls that are natural connection. Those are great, right? Those are great when it's natural. You can talk to her and she feeds you, but we are different people and eventually, it becomes it becomes a pain in the ass to, to talk and chat with a person all day long. You know, it does. And and for this guy, for this guy, um, Mr. Corey Holcomb, he's in the trick factory. You know, and you get a certain age, you just say, "Baby, listen, I don't want too much talking. I'm funny. I could get you regular, but you know, here goes here goes a couple of dollars." I just want a little bit of your time. And and, and, and that happens with age. Um, there are women that are doing this now. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's just their, it's just their pathway. Um, Zion, where I was going, okay, here, I'm, I'm going to land a plane. What Zion did is at age 20, no, again, there's no age to this. Some guys are more lazy. Than it actually shows his laziness. I think he's too lazy. Like, I can't front to you, okay? Um, I think he does like tricking. Because he has multiple women. Uh, he, he certainly stunned me with the body type of woman that he likes. Coming from Duke. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I won't lie to you and tell you I, that I would think Zion Williamson. Because I thought he was kind of geeky. I thought he was a smart geek. Uh, you know, you know, I'm not saying Grant Hill. But look, he, you know, he, he, he didn't have any visible tattoos. He fitted the image of an NBA clean. Really trying to do the LeBron James um, thing, but he's been suffered with a lot of injuries because of his size. He's really too big to run up and down a court. Everyone's mentioned that. I mentioned that when he first came out. I got a basketball channel. Yes, I do. So I'm really I'm deep, deep diving in basketball. I'm really deep. I know I know players, and I'm able to spot talent. That's my gift. That said, you know, Zion, if he kept his Duke weight, which he's not at right now, it's tough to do after coming out of college and then making $193 million. He would have been straight, but it shows his work ethic because it takes a lot of work to keep that weight on. And the same thing with the chicks. It shows his work ethic that he doesn't really want to maintain talking to her, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't have the time. He's juggling too many, by the way, way too many in relationships. If he was just in and out, you know, drag racing, if he was just drag racing with these chicks, okay, it may work out. Mike, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go, but there's a lot of superstars that drag race these chicks. Okay. Anyone that's been around athletes or singers, actors, anything, they know there's a there's a couple of drag races. There's, a, there's there, there the opportunity is there all the time. There's many women that want to take the shot. They they either want status or to take it to court. One of the two. And that's the that's the that's the game you gotta play, and that's and that's the hit you take for making that much money and being popular. 
But with your boy Zion here, you know, he's he's running a, a month of Indy 500 with these chicks, man. He's, he's giving on a forearm relationship with these chicks when he should, he should just be drag racing. And that's the problem. And that's what really got him caught up in this situation. Um, and his confidence was cloud nine. Yeah, it's back back to the same thing with YK R. Cyrus. Confidence at an all high and doesn't realize the game is not meant <laughs> meant to be easy. And status is something that you have to keep within you and hold deep. As deep as you would hold, as you're supposed to hold your body parts when you're going into another female that you don't know. There's so many risks that you take on top of the baby that he just made. These are industry girls that are definitely messing around with other guys in the industry. I can guarantee it. And he he was going in without any hats on. Okay. He's an NBA player. I understand STDs are very high. But the big one's even higher, right? And Magic Johnson went through that. And I would hate for him to go through that. And that's because his confidence is at all high. He goes, I'm 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 messing with her. I'm paying 107 k I'm the man. She ain't gonna do nothing to me. I got her on lock. I'm the man. I'm Zion. I'm doing it, baby. And, and he got caught in such a situation with so many chicks. And now all it took was one. He showed out with the one girl pregnant. See what I'm talking about? The status thing. And then the rest, the hive mindset follow. So a woman just realized. You strike one, the rest will come follow a following to try to get their peace. It's a high mindset, so it's dangerous when you fall off the tracks with them. All right, that was Zion. Now let's get to the last guy here, man. Conor McGregor. Conor, uh, there's only one McGregor, right? Conor McGregor. Watch this situation, and 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 it's crazy. Right away, what happened? Watch. Recordings just got better. Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. I'm so excited to announce that local recordings are now. That's Conor McGregor. Shout out to TMZ Sports. He's walking off, right? Here goes the alleged victim. So let's let's give some preface. There is a woman out there that's following charges against Conor McGregor stating that he raped her. Or sexually assaulted her. Oh, well, it says rape. Alleged rape victim. All right. Now, from what the, from the little blurry things I've seen, I've seen some other pictures, man. This was a, I mean, I was looking at Khan. I was like, yo, you were Versace and shit, man. Come on, bro. But I, you know, so the girl was the the girl was sub part of me. You know, she she wasn't. Let me, bro, bro. She was a chubby chaser. First of all, nothing wrong with that. I can, I, I like I like all body types too. But she was a chubby chaser. She had ta big old tattoo on her back. And, and there's things that happen when you get a lot of women, okay? I'm nowhere near these guys, but I'm just giving evidence of what I've seen in my interactions. When you start to get a lot of women, let's say you start getting a lot of models. You, you, you mess with all supermodels from, from, from uh, what do you call it? Swim, swim Illustrated or whatever. What, what is it? Whatever it used to be called, right? Or Playboy. I'm old school, so you see how old I am. I'm talking about Playboy. That's gone. That, 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 that activity's dead, all right? If you get all those girls from that arena, what happens is, what do you think happens? It starts to it starts to die off. You get bored with it. And then you start to go, I wonder how this, no offense, this big one try uh, feels. And then you go to the next one. I wonder how this tall one feels. Because you're so used to the supermodels, they get they get boring. I think that's what Conor McGregor is going through here, but the taste of woman in a public space has me scratching my head like, bro, really? And now she's filed a rape allegation. Probably the worst chick he's ever messed with in his life. Let's keep going. So he walked out of the bathroom. That's where he came out of. And that chick happened to be there on the, on the corner. Either he was texting her or something, getting it set up. He met her in the bar. And uh, he says, okay, what you want to do, you know? whatever and you know and then he goes okay well let's come to the bathroom let's get this settled mind you connor is not married no he's not married he has kids with that girl devlin devin but he's not married and i'm not gonna lie to you connor mcgregor yeah, utmost respect to you man he's one of the few guys that no offense is kind of doing it right if you're gonna be out there you know you out there you're gonna say baby listen i know you want to marry me but i'm not ready for it right? i'm still out there and i still got needs and I think Devin's in a great situation, man. I don't think she should care about what's going on with Connor and this and this little mishap here. But 
the problem on his side is he did he he is on cloud nine right now. Conor McGregor's on cloud nine. He's got caught in a lot of situations like this. He's one of those alpha, alpha, AA confident guys. And he's going to get caught in a lot of situations where they're going to bring his confidence down. This is one of those. She's walking back with him. We pulled the big biggie back into the, to the bathroom. Just pulled her and said, let's go inside. In front of everybody. See it? Let's see it. Watch it again. What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? Ah, right, you ready? All right, come on. You ready? Come with me. Okay. That's it. Just pulled her off. Come with me. Look. Look. Wow, what a big one. Jesus. Jesus. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Pulls her right back, and I believe there's some video of him with her drinking in the club okay there it goes here it goes this is it let's go to ypg local let's go the investigation pulled her Alex. there you go and tonight she's sharing text messages that she hopes will prove her case video of you so kind of is having fun in miami he had an event he was you know was publicizing his drink and uh, he went to the Miami Heat game, and 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 then uh, he was at a bar. Sea fighter Conor McGregor, a woman alleges, was recorded moments before he raped her inside a men's bathroom, and now new text messages emerging. Let's stop it here. I didn't see any of this. This is gonna have to be a separate video. Yo, uh, I didn't know he was trying to f me in the bathroom. She was crazy. I pushed him off. He pushed my pants down. How did you not know? Okay, look, 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 okay. So she's playing a game here, girlfriend. I, I don't, I don't play this game with women or men. All right. If you're with the superstar out of nowhere, he's going. There's, there, there's actually, there's no. Let me put myself in that situation. Now let, let me give him. Let's find a superstar. Let's find a superstar. I don't know who's high up. I don't know Oprah or Paris Hilton. I'm making it up. Oprah invites me up to the room. She has not much conversation with me. She gives me an eye. She may touch me sexually. And she invites me up to her hotel room. She doesn't invite me to nowhere public. Okay. Like a restaurant or a date or, or hey, I want to I want to meet you on a date or nothing like that. She just says, listen, meet me in my hotel room. I know as a man what that means. Okay. Girls seem to have an issue and don't get it. There is absolutely no value to you for Conor McGregor other than one thing. There's actually no value for me to Oprah. I'm only available for one thing unless there's a business opportunity. Okay. If you get around him and he pulls you into something like this, ma'am, do not play games with me. It's one thing that he wants. He wants some, some, some sexual uh, sexual practice is done. That's a fact. Don't go into these situations. I warn women all the time. If an athlete invites you to his hotel room, it should be a given. You're not there for fun. You're not there to chill. Okay. A lot of ladies think that because of you know that, that again, women have the same confidence thing too. You know, he he's with me because he likes me and he really he really cares about me. And uh, how long did you know him for? Well, I just met him in the club 15 minutes ago. Le no, no, no. Let's, let's, let's stop. Let's stop. Guys inviting girls up who have stardom. Ladies, for the last time, there's, there's sex there. Now, guys that do it, be advised, this is the result. These women, these unknown women that you bring up and mess with can cause you a lot of pain. Raped her inside a men's bathroom. And now, new text messages emerging. The woman claims to prove her allegations. I was like, no. Because uh, I thought it was just to... I thought it was just to go to the... What? Come on, man. I wasn't... Man, in a, in a, in a, in a bathroom. Even I don't care... Who are you? Guess I'm an idiot, but I would never, especially somewhere I frequent. 
It, I mean, I gotta give it. I gotta give it to Connor in a way, in a, in a negative way here. Dude, you couldn't wait to get to the hotel room or something. I mean, but no offense. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna down on this chick. The way she looked, he's like, man, I'm, she's not even worth my hotel room. Ah, I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry. He says she's not even worth my hotel room. She she either gets me here or forever be gone. I think that was his thought process. But again, you can see the text here. I was like, no, because I thought it was just to go to the bathroom. I wasn't any. I wasn't effing any man in a bathroom ever. I don't care who you are. Guess I'm an idiot, but I would never, especially somewhere I frequent. So you know, she's going back. You know, she's going back now to her friends and going. You know, I feel as though I have more respect than that. But you know, honestly, the fact that you went into the bathroom, he pulled you in. What did you think you were gonna get in a, in a freaking long term relationship? Anyhow, I'm out of here with with this. She just started that hive mindset with woman against Connor now, and he's going to have to watch himself. Okay. There's going to be certain women that's just going to be a go, right? They just want to do you. Okay. There's no doubt about it. But now he's going to have to have a bigger guard because she just started the hive mindset against Connor that he rapes women. And that's a bad, bad look, especially for a man that frequents a lot of women that has a lot of side chicks. It can get you in a lot. The unidentified of alleged victim Sorry. claims hours after she was assaulted, she messaged a security guard who was standing outside the bathroom where she was sexually assaulted. The text messages she provided read, "Yo, I didn't know he was trying to expletive me in the bathroom. Yeah. Expletive was crazy. I pushed him off me. He pulled my pants down." A client says she reached around. Oh yeah, <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> Uh, uh, here we go. And there goes the lawyer after responding to this. So, she, you know, he pulled my pants down, blah, blah, blah. She wanted money. Pay for play is becoming a frequent activity now. So so now the, the freebie used to be you were with a star and you were happy, okay, for a chick. She would be like, man, I'm with a superstar. She's happy just to get that clout, that, that status. Now, nah, it's a whole different ball game, baby. Now it's, hey, you're going to pay me for my time. Eh? And that's why, no offense, the Zion situation makes a little bit more sense than the rest of them because at least he knew, he, at least he knew they were there for clout. Even though I don't like the way he did it, and in the past they would be paying him, he has put himself forward and said, I'm paying them. So at least they cannot go into rape allegations because they're getting monetary gain, even though they're slandering him every, everywhere else. That said, high mindset can kill you, baby, and confidence can kill you. They both don't go together. Once the high mindset goes with a chick and they got an appearance of you in a certain way, in a negative light, you're in a whole lot of trouble. And once your confidence gets too high and you start rolling around like every chick wants you, you can also get in trouble. It's your boy Mikey stepping off with the stories of these men, the downfall of men. I'm out of here. Peace.